Okay, be honest. When you hear Ryzen 3 579, do you feel like you're being quizzed on math instead of picking a CPU? Don't panic. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what each Ryzen means, which one fits your needs, and you'll finally stop pretending you understand your PC building friends. Ryzen 3 is the entry level. Think of it as your starter Pokemon. And not the most powerful, but it gets the job done when you're just starting your journey. It's perfect for browsing, schoolwork, video calls, streaming Netflix, and light gaming. It usually comes with four cores, which means it can handle a few tasks at once, but don't expect it to fight off a dragon. If you're building a budget PC or buying a basic laptop, Ryzen 3 is all you need. It's affordable, reliable, and honestly better than people give it credit for. Funny thing, a lot of people buy Ryzen 3 and then act surprised when it doesn't handle high-end gaming like a beast. That's like buying a bicycle and wondering why it can't keep up with a Ferrari. It's best for students, office workers, casual gamers, or anyone who just wants a computer that doesn't freeze when opening Chrome. Ryzen 5 is where things start to get spicy. It's the middle child, and in this case, the middle child is actually the favorite. It has six cores, sometimes eight, making it great for gaming, multitasking, editing photos, and running more demanding software. If Ryzen 3 is your starter Pokemon, Ryzen 5 is when it evolves, and suddenly you can, you can game at 1080p with no problem, do some video editing, and even stream. It balances price and performance so well that honestly, it's the most popular Ryzen option. Ryzen 5 is like pizza. You don't need to explain it. Everyone just loves it and it fits almost every situation. It's best for gamers, students who also edit videos, streamers just starting out, or anyone who wants a strong all-rounder without paying too much. Now we're talking serious power, the Ryzen 7. Ryzen 7 comes with eight cores, sometimes more, and is meant for people who demand performance. If you're editing 4K videos, creating 3D models, streaming high quality games, or doing heavy multitasking, Ryzen 7 handles it with ease. Think of Ryzen 7 as the pro gamer tier. You're not just playing the game, you're streaming it, recording it, editing clips afterward, and uploading to YouTube all without your computer crying. Ryzen 7 is like bringing a bazooka to a water balloon fight. You don't need it for casual tasks, but wow, it's fun to have. Content creators, professionals, or serious gamers who need power and want their PC to last for years without feeling outdated. And finally, the big boss, the Ryzen 9. This is the top of the line processor with 12 to 16 cores, depending on the model. It's built for absolute monsters of workloads, 3D animation, scientific simulations, high-end 4K slash 8K editing, running multiple virtual machines, basically things most people never do. Ryzen 9 is like owning a rocket ship, cool, powerful, and extremely fast. But do you really need it to go buy groceries? For everyday users, it's overkill. For professionals, it's a dream. Buying Ryzen 9 just for gaming is like hiring Gordon Ramsay to make you instant noodles. Sure, he'll do it perfectly, but you're not using even 10% of what he's capable of. Best for high-end content creators, professionals who make money with their PC, or the kind of gamer who refuses to compromise on anything. All right, let's talk about the Ryzen Pro now. Okay, so here's where AMD says, we've got gamers covered. Now let's take care of the people wearing suits. Ryzen PRO chips aren't about flashy performance numbers or overclocking brag rights. Instead, they're built for business and enterprise computers, the kind your company IT guy locks down so you can't install Minecraft at work. The big selling point here is security and stability. They come with features like memory encryption and extra long support cycles, which means businesses can roll them out across thousands of PCs and not worry about sudden updates breaking everything. So while Ryzen 5 or 7 is what you'd want in your gaming rig at home, Ryzen Pro is what you'll probably see in your office desktop that just won't die. And then there's the Threadripper. The name alone sounds like it belongs to a WWE wrestler or a heavy metal band. This is AMD basically saying, fine, you want all the cores? Take them. Threadripper is a workstation beast. We're talking ridiculous numbers of cores and threads designed for video editors, 3D animators, engineers, basically, 
people who run workloads so demanding that even a Ryzen 9 would start sweating. These chips sit in their own special category. They don't even use the same socket as regular Ryzen's. They need TRX-40 motherboards or newer, and those things look like control panels from a spaceship. So there you have it. Ryzen 3, 5, 7, 9, and even Ryzen Pro and Threadripper explained as simply as possible. Now you know which one fits your needs without overpaying for performance you'll never use. If this video helped, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment which Ryzen you'd pick. Are you team budget, balanced power, or boss level? 